I don't want to have laying in my stomach something really fatty or sugary. So I have sugar-free Jello, which is like the key, the key to miss up mocking me. What's up guys, it is April 11th today and uh, currently I'm standing in the bathroom. <laughs> That's where I'm at right now. Um, I'm at Maddie's house right now. Um, I'm not gonna do any kind of certain vlog today because I wanted to do a fitness video today and uh, kind of do something different for once and do a little bit more of a talking on fitness more than showing necessarily. So um, I'm gonna talk to you guys about what my kind of like my diet is right now and what I'm trying to do to like, I'm trying to do like a lean bulk pretty much because I kind of I miss the season of bulking the season of bulking um, during the winter so I'm kind of I'm trying to bulk right now but try to not gain fat like you're supposed to do during your bulking so um, I'm trying to do like a lean bulking um, so right now I'm having about 2800 calories or so um, and then I'm having about 60 grams of fat about 300 to 250 to 300 uh, carbs and then about 200 to 300, it's very, it varies a lot. <laughs> but about 200 to 300 grams of protein. Um, and then other than that, nope, you get to go. <laughs> other than that, I start off my morning typically with a blend of whole eggs and then egg whites. So I do about two whole eggs, um, two, what are those called? Like brown eggs, I don't know. But, um, and then I have about, I want to say about a cup and a half, if not two cups of egg whites. And then um, I kind of do about three fourths of that and then my mom takes the rest of it. And then I have two slices of potato bread. Um, one because and I used to do rice cakes instead, uh, but those are low in calories and then they're just pure carbs. So um, I'm trying to do a little bit more protein. <laughs> I'm trying to get a little bit more protein in. Um, so the potato bread helps with that, but it's still very carb dense. So um, other than that, I add some um, natural peanut butter in there. Um, so it's none of the GIF stuff. So I have about I have about two tablespoons worth of that. And then I add some honey on top just because it makes it so good because when I can't have really sweet things because of diet, I mean, it's, mm, it's the best thing in the world. So, um, and then that just adds some sugar. And then um, other than that, it's organic honey, so it won't hurt, hurt you too much. Um, and then for about lunch, I, it changes every week, um, but I do meal prep at the beginning of the week. We'll take it my mom. So, <laughs> Maddie's in the bathroom with me right now. She's doing her makeup. Lunches kind of vary this week. I have, there's a mix between ground chicken and ground beef. I had about a cup of that, and then I had a cup of vegetables, which was a, a peas and carrot blend. And then I had a cup of rice, uh, jasmine white rice, with some kind of seasoning on top. Uh, but really good um, for every <laughs> every meal, um, especially after the workout. Um, good protein, especially after that ground chicken. Um, really good for after the workout. And then for a snack, I, I typically at night when I don't really want something fatty because when I go to bed or sugary, I don't want to have laying in my stomach something really fatty or sugary. So I have sugar-free jello, which is like the key, the key to <laughs> miss up mocking me. <laughs> sugar-free jello is the key to like keeping you like satisfied. It's just uh, so good with like, I think it's like one carb and that's it for the whole thing. So it's pretty much water weight after it digests and which isn't that long since it's just pretty much water. <laughs> so, um, and then other than that, I do have my gym quick carbs and then my gym post. So um, really other than that, I don't do too much other than that. Might vary with like a protein bar or something, but nothing more than that. So if I'm really struggling to hit my calories for the day, I'll typically try to have something very protein high because I'd rather have my protein high than uh, my carbs high, which typically tends to happen a lot. Like the other day I had like 360 grams of carbs and like 200 grams of protein, which is just absurd. But, um, <laughs> but typically what I try to do if my protein's low or I just need something to eat that I don't really want to go towards fat or carbs because it's really easy for me to get my carbs in, um, tuna. Tuna is the key. Um, not much carbs, 
and then a lot of protein and uh, some sucrinose. So tuna and like rice cakes, or if I'm trying to really not have any carbs, then I'll just have tuna straight up. It's, it's, it's not, I don't like, I'm not a tuna fan, but I kind of muscle through it just because I know for the benefits it's better for me. So I just muscle through the uh, tuna taste. And then other than that, that's kind of like really my whole day. Um, and then every other week or so I'll have some salmon so I can get my omega threes in. I do like to typically have my uh, salmon just because it's so good. <laughs> salmon and chicken are like the keys to have on a uh, bulking diet. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much it for uh, my eating and what I typically do on a day-to-day -day basis. It doesn't really change much for breakfast and then um, for lunch and dinner it always changes, but typically around the salmon, the chicken, and vegetables and rice kind of thing. So uh, other than that guys, I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think about this kind of different video. Um, just really talking about my nutrition and kind of something that I'm really interested in right now. So this one popped in. <laughs> Say goodbye right. with them. <laughs> Alright guys, I'm ending the video here. If you guys like this video, please get a big thumbs up. And if you guys like my content, please subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in uh, Sunday's video. Bye!